Google Analytics shows you might not be what you need. What do you need? Hey, my friend, Jean-Serge Gagnon here. And today we're going to talk about analytics and what do you need to be tracking on social media. You, you know, you got to be tracking stuff to know whether you're getting results that's the most important thing to do if you're putting things in place to try to, to try to sell stuff right so we're going to talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. All right, so you've got a business, you're building a business, you're trying to get some sales, you're trying to get people to join your biz, you're trying to get them to look at your opportunity, you're trying to sell products, sell a course. What you're trying to do is to generate some income. So how do you know whether what you're doing is working? That's where metrics comes in, right? So you want to know what your results are you want to know if you're getting the right results right so and you might be thinking okay well how do you track that what do you need to track if you look at lots of online training that has to do with tracking you're going to find a whole bunch of different things we're going to show you a few of these things before we get there though I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're definitely going to want to check out the video at cis413.jsgagnon.com because in the video I'm going to share the screen and uh, there's also going to be a blog post at that address all right so let's get to it let me just go here and share my screen and kind of show you like you know if you look at something like this right this is Google Analytics right this is just kind of showing you all sorts of different numbers all sorts of different things the numbers that Google Analytics shows you might not be what you need what do you need to track on social media if I look at Facebook right if I go to Facebook like what am I what do I need to track here right how do I know what to do now if you go to Facebook you're going to go to your profile right um actually I didn't that wasn't the right anyways oh I guess they changed the thing now okay anyways if you go to your profile you're going to see under here there's all sorts of different things you can see story activity log right here I can go to the activity log I can go figure out you know what I did how many like what where did I comment if I go here I can see where I commented right so what do I how do I track that how do I know you know whether I'm getting the right the right activity I'm doing the right thing or not right how do I know that right how do I know I can go uh if I go back uh likes and reactions I can go to uh, pokes and archives all these different things right what's what's worth it there if you look at things like funnels you can see that some of these funnels here I've got this shows you the number of visitors the number of conversion the conversion rate so it's kind of telling me okay out of you know 3,200 people that actually saw this page there's 812 that actually put their email in so that's 24 percent which is by the way that's a really good number anything above 10 percent is considered good for conversions or <laughs> for just getting somebody's email right that's because you had something really good to offer them in exchange for the email but what is that what you need to be doing right are you do you need to be tracking emails do you need to be tracking well that's not on social media on social media you don't have that information if I go back here I'm gonna uh, and you know the reason why I'm bringing this up by the way is because uh you might not know this but um if you've been following for a while you know I'm building a tool I'm actually using a tool that lets me helps me with tracking but the thing is that the tool is being developed and I'm still trying to figure out okay what do I need to track and what are the things that are important to be tracking that's kind of why I'm talking about this here if you have any thoughts any comments any suggestions then yes please let me know I'd love to hear from you as to what you think uh, is important to track but you know if I'm going through Facebook and I'm engaging on posts right I want to know how many you know people I how many profiles I went to because I want to be able to say okay every single day I visited at least x number of profiles right 
so how do you keep track of that I mean I can just click on some of these profile people right and I can comment on their posts I can do different I can uh, react to their posts how many am I doing am I doing the right number right so let's go back let's go to this here what are the important metrics right so if I'm talking about social media let's just say okay what are important how uh, any and I'm just kind of spitting this out let me know if you think that makes total no sense at all if it makes sense but for me this is kind of what I'm where I'm heading right and this is kind of what I'm doing so how many uh profiles did I visit right so how many profiles did I visit how many posts did whoops did I comment on right because you know when you're when you're going through Facebook and you're going to profiles it doesn't mean that they have posts that they posted since the last time you visited them right so they might not have posted anything in a week and you're visiting them again and you already re reacted to some of their posts so you're not going to react on new posts right um and then maybe how many how many posts did I react on right okay so why why would I think that you need to track that it's it's mainly because you want to be sure that you're kind of being consistent right so if you react to five posts one day 50 posts another day you know then none for the next day and then three the next day and then 50 the next day and it's all over the place the platform will see you as being all over the place right so it's going to affect how it chooses to show your content obviously you want to be posting regularly you want the, this whole attraction marketing thing this whole personal branding thing that's all still in effect you want to be posting regularly you want to be engaging regularly messaging regularly all those things but how many of those do you want to be doing right so here's the here's the next so what else um how about how many people you message right how many people did you message you want to know that you're doing it regularly right so what about tracking that right if you track that then at least you're going to know if you know messaging 20 people a day is going to be better than 10 or it's going to be too much or you know depending on your schedule and all these things so if you keep track of that at least you'll know what um what you can do what is what works for you right without you tracking it you won't know and this is one of the things so what about how many people how many people responded to your messages right so if you're messaging people and nobody's replying then there's something going on there's a reason why that's not working right so you need to know how many of them reply to your messages right if you don't know how many are replying then you're basically just shooting darts and nothing's happening right well, that's why you need to do that so now the next thing is and you know in sales right let's just let's go to the sales side so let's talk let's talk let's talk about sales process right so sales process is um number one whoops number so it's it's a it's basically a funnel right so you have lots of people that you're talking to less people that are talking back to you less people that are actually looking at your offer less people that are actually trying your offer and less people that are actually buying your offer right so that's kind of what they call why they call it a funnel so in the sales funnel is how many conversations right and then you have how many um presentations presentations right then you have how many trials and maybe and, and maybe you don't have trials maybe it's just a sale right away right but then it's how many sales right so how many sales so this basically and obviously you want to know how much how much is each sale worth right you want to know how much is each sale worth so uh or you know and that could be because maybe you sell different things like I don't know say you're selling for example weight loss products you might have you know a supplement you might have um uh, protein powder you might have 
some sort of juice you might have you know all these different things and they're all different prices right so you you got to know kind of if you're selling these different things you would want to keep track of the total sales in the month right so how much uh or actually let's just say how many sales so how much how much income uh yeah okay and then and then this just becomes a, a number that you calculate right so but still you want to be tracking how many sales so number of sales so this would be the number let's just say number of sales right this is number of trials of people trying out your product here well let's just say offer right this is number of people looking at your presentation now when we talk about the presentation it can be all sorts of different uh things right so it could be a and a, a, a video that they look at it could be you talking to them and presenting it could be an email you send them it could be a um a, 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 a um, catalog you email you mail them right it's really up to you it's whatever your business is but the idea is you need to track how many are there because without tracking you can't know if you're getting results and you also can't know if you can scale or not right so for example let's just take for example where your presentation is you showing people in a 30 minute zoom call your thing right so I mean if you if you have I don't know five hours a week and you have and that's all you do that means you can do 10 presentations in a week right so I mean if it takes you 50 conversations to have 10 presentations then you can't do more than 50 conversations because you'd be well I mean if you did more then you'd end up having you know people waiting for a presentation right so that means that you can't do you so you figure out what your limits are right and you can also figure out well I guess these zoom presentations aren't working I gotta create some sort of automated thing so I can actually scale up right so without tracking you can't you can't think of these things you can't find these answers right so with tracking this when you're tracking all this stuff you can actually figure out like you know this is the kind of stuff that I certainly never tracked before because I was like well you know whatever it works I just have to do enough and then it'll eventually work itself out and the thing with that is that the platform you know if you talk about Facebook for example Facebook doesn't you know doesn't want you to know that stuff because they're like they, they have their own agenda right they have their own process that they want to control and if they control the process then obviously you can't control it right so whoops so I mean how do you how do you you know how do you get there right how do you track this I mean obviously you can go into your messages right I can go to my messages here I can look at the, all the messages that are from a day ago see one day one day one day two days two days right so I can actually say in the last day I had x number of people reach out to me I can just do that right I can just look at that you can just look at that and then one day and then two days and then the rest three days <coughs> I can kind of keep track that way if I want right messages actually if I go here see see all in messenger that kind of helps to see but still I'm not going to do that uh, but I mean this is just a conversation here with some of the stuff I have but I mean any of these right if I look at any of these I don't know if there's a way I mean it's obviously it's all manual it takes a lot of work to figure all this out right but that's one of the things right with Facebook <coughs> they want control so you can't do it unless they let you do it or unless you do it some other way which is what I do right I do this with a tool but in any case with you don't have you don't need my tool to do this you can do it yourself you can just keep track of things you can just um you know record that in some sort of a some sort of a uh tool either you can I don't know you can do it in the Google Sheet you can do it you know lots of different ways right you can do that 
and so yeah so you can track it whichever way you want that's that's anything's possible using a sheets google sheet using a, you know a notepad using things like that one thing I find though is that doing it manually is a lot of work but but it's still better than not doing it at all and if you can keep track of you know I'm been I've been conversing with these 20 people for the last month or something I've been going to their profile every day I've been doing this I've been doing that then that definitely is a good uh start right to try to figure out but you need to know this you need to know how many profiles if you're just randomly going through Facebook you're randomly commenting on stuff you're randomly letting Facebook show you the posts in the feed and you're just engaging on those things you're just basically using the platform the way the platform wants you to use it which is you know which is good because then you're like a, a good Facebook user but it, but you're not going to be able to figure out how to improve your results right without that without knowing these other things right without knowing I mean in any sales scenario you kind of have to know conversations and this is like in a funnel right in the funnel we talk about conversions right so if you for example could create a funnel or an opt-in page for your offer where in where your conversations are basically having people go to that funnel then you would be able to tell how many people you know you would well you'd have to keep track of how many people you had a conversation with how many people you actually asked them to go check your offer and then you'd you'd be able to know how many people actually went to your offer and how many actually got converted right so so let's just say this like this for this so how many how many replied right how many replied how many how many did you did you um ask to go check your opt-in opt-in funnel right let's say and this is not I guess this is not about sales so let's just move that over here okay how many responded to your message how many did you uh send link how many did you ask to check your offer right to check your offer your opt-in opt-in funnel right and then and then how many actually how many how many actually actually did did go check your funnel right and then you would then you would know how many um opted in opted in to your to your funnel right how many actually act opted into your funnel right and then then it becomes the rest of this stuff because after they're in your funnel the whole sales process is all about you know getting them on an email list sending them information following up with them and all this other stuff right which is all part of sales which then ends up being let's just get that out of there um, and then ends up being being the 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 sales happening right so these other ones here right these other ones so how many um presentations right would be those that opted into your funnel that's kind of the same not the exact same thing but similar because it's it's the next step in the sales process oh sorry about that um <laughs> sorry sorry uh so yeah it's the next step in the process right it's just getting them through that so how do you get all this done for you right there's tools there's a bunch of different tools there's crms out there that let you enter notes and do things and change things and I mean if I if I look at for example under let's go to what do I have let's just go to this is funnels here some of my funnels uh let's go over to here let's actually let's just open this in a new tab all right I just want to go see in here um what am I looking for all oh, right this the, the content not that the CRM right over here oops so I mean if I go to doo -doo 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 -doo. so if I look at this this is one example of a CRM right so I've got 2800 leads in here uh, I've got these names in here these emails I can actually go to any of these and I can just uh <coughs> 
you know edit it I can schedule a task add a note I can do all these different things with this tool and that's a great that's a great tool and this prospect consented and then this is a prospect opted in and blah 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 all these different things I can actually add an image if I wanted to I can um I can set their priority I don't I, I haven't really been I haven't used this tool that much um but I mean I take that out of there and I can add uh social media links I can do all sorts of different things right so I should probably be using this tool before I show it to you but that's one example of a CRM and if I go to click funnels the same thing under click funnels there's a there's a contacts right so anybody who enters an email uh see so now I have 332 uh, I don't even know how to use I don't even know how to use the contacts in uh, in in click funnels but uh, I, don't know, I guess it'd be lifetime contacts there's a download there I like I said I've never used that in click funnels but I mean I know they have they have additional uh tools that you can pay for extra that would maybe let you well I guess there you go so this is kind of what I do I go on this what do I do lifetime contact unsubscribe new contact contact for memberships I can see what they did I suppose so I mean every lot lots of tools have ways to keep track of things right and you can use these tools if you learn how to use them like me like as you can see I don't really know how to use these tools I and for uh, Google Analytics you know, like something like this I just set up a pixel on my site like a long time ago and um now I'm seeing I can see these these results here I'm not really sure even what any of these um pages are because they're they're not even part of this original URL that I have set up here so I'm not even sure what I did but uh, you can see that there's tracking going on there's you know 27 percent of mobile and then there's which countries they're from and Indonesia I don't know why why 64 percent of traffic from Indonesia <laughs> I don't know um United States and Canada United States is 19 percent Canada is three percent and then the time you know 4 a.m and you know mostly most Saturday you know 111 users Saturday here so I mean that's the thing when you're tracking stuff you can find out what you're doing right and me I'm tracking stuff but I'm not following it up as much as I should like this stuff here I should be using this to try to identify things like see over here it says 28 gold I don't even know what this goal is it's something I set up a while ago and and it's showing me that I'm getting these results here I don't have a value to it because it's the goal I guess is visited register oh that's the so that's the goal I configured at some point in the past a long time ago and I'm getting 20 people 28 people going there so that's wow that's 28 people that are actually going to this page which I considered a goal right and that's what you do with tracking like analytics you can do that right but what about you tracking your Facebook activities right what is it that is worth doing in Facebook if you're ex if you're commenting on posts in Facebook right if you're just commenting on posts in Facebook then you're just following whatever the platform wants you to do right so you know the platform wants you to do this but how do you know how many profiles you visited how many I mean you you can like I said I showed you before you can go to your your page here right uh let's just let it load up here you can go to your page and then you can go into your activities and you can kind of just count things up so every day you could do that right you could manually go in here right um and you could go into here these three little dots right whoops and then you go to the activity log now inside of that you can tell how many comments so if I go to comments here I can see this is I guess it shows it does it show yesterday or today or something 8 26 this is this morning right these are all the these are all the comments I did this morning and the other thing is as you can see here can I can I filter it with my comments yeah that's kind of annoying because see it says right here I commented on this post so that's one 
Uh, I commented on my, my name, commented on, commented on, commented on, commented on, commented, 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 and there was another post here that said I commented I guess maybe it is just that because I don't actually use this I use a tool but still if I look at this this is all late for this morning I thought in here it showed other people commenting on my stuff as well so this 805 this was 804 okay so now I can say eight o'clock okay this okay there you go the days are actually there <laughs> I can actually count these June 21st how many comments right I have one two three four five geez how do I count these can I do this what if I did this can I do these what does it do does it show me how many I selected no it doesn't so I have to count these right so I have to go and I say I don't know how many there are but I have to count them right let's just remove that because I don't want it to do anything but you can count this way right I can count this way now the other thing if you look at this you can see how many people are you know uh the different ones right so this is Stephanie Oden right here that's three for her and then there's and this is Tracy Cook here and this is Sarah Cuoco and Karen Broomberg and and Lane Lawson Kraft and Michael Griswold and mentally hitch so you can see if I was to look at these names I could say one two three four I can count how many people actually I visited right if I look at this I can go and see how many profiles I visited now the only problem with this is that what about profiles I visited that I didn't comment on anything because they didn't have any new posts shouldn't I count those two so you can't actually find them this way right you can't actually you can't see here now you could if you're using your browser and I am on my phone you can actually go to your history here and you can see these uh, profiles I went to right right here recently closed I can see these ones if I can go to the history I can actually see these are well I guess whew, that would be kind of hard right to figure out because there's emails there's other things but if I go to these ones all these ones over here these are all but it doesn't tell me it doesn't really tell me the post as you can tell it's kind of complicated to figure this out to actually go and figure it out yourself to go and track the right things but if you want to know right if you want to know how many profiles you visited then you basically every single profile you visit you got to take a note you got to put a note someplace maybe you have a notebook and you write it in there right today I visited 20 profiles or 30 profiles or 10 or whatever it is today I commented on x number of posts now the number of comments you can maybe get it out of this right you can you could maybe you could uh, where's the end of it you might be able to go and use a tool like you might be able to just well I guess I can't can I do this I can't even select this text I was thinking maybe I could copy it but I guess you can't otherwise you might there might be a way obviously you can kind of scroll through and figure it out but that's kind of you know one of the things right the comments likes and reactions you can also do that here you can go to here and say how many what the posts you liked or comment or reacted on right if I look at this it's the same thing it'll give me a list of everything I reacted on but then again it's a lot of work right but it's it's not impossible if you want to do that manually you certainly can right you can go through here you can just see how many I commented on right I actually does it say here reacted to reacted to reacted to reacted to it doesn't say whether I hearted it or liked it or or wowed it it just says whether I reacted which you know is fine I don't think it matters what kind of reaction you did it all says you reacted to these posts right so you can actually track that that way too if you want right so now you know how many you reacted you know how many you commented you know how many you visited now what about the people you messaged like I said for messages you can go to the messages you can actually see how many people you messaged today you can count that right and then you want to know how many people responded to your messages well that you can't just count because you it's well can you when I go to the messages here and I look at this um 
so I say you see how it says you you and these ones that don't say you are basically people that sent you a message right so this is you this is somebody here Sarah sent me a message Guy sent me a message Rad sent me a... so I guess you could kind of look at anything that is well I guess the only problem here is that you can't really tell whether these are people you messaged or whether they just messaged you out of you know out of nowhere right they might be messaging you for other reasons which are not necessarily so you know maybe you don't want to necessarily add that up that way uh, I don't know uh, but you want to know how many people responded to the message you sent them you want to be able to know if they replied to your message right if they didn't reply to your message or sending your message for other reasons that might be a value but it's not gonna help you to know whether what you're doing or the message you're sending or anything like that is actually working to get a response right because you need responses you need responses before you can ask them about your offer you can't just spit out your offer and hope they reply to that or hope they go check it out because that's not that doesn't work right it's 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 just not how you can grow because that's what lots of people do when they start that's called spamming you're sending off your link to just random people or even if you've been engaging with them I've found that even if I do engagement on Facebook and I've, I'm liking their stuff and commenting on their stuff and they kind of see me in their notifications and the they won't necessarily reply to me just sending them my well the I'd say half of them won't even reply if I just say hey I I have this, this thing of, that I'd like you to look at right they're not going to I tried that it doesn't work you got to have a conversation with them even if you've been engaging and they see you and they like your stuff and whatever you still have to have a conversation before you offer them your thing but you got to be tracking all this stuff and this is one of the things I'm trying to put in together what do I need to track and I'm learning myself right now and this is exactly what I needed is this is what I need to be able to do what do I need to do and hopefully this has helped and if you have any questions obviously on how to do this how to get the tool uh, just go ahead and reach out and we'll have we'll see you in the next episode have yourself a great day this has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.